just over three years ago, in November of 2017, in the heart of LSU's campus. Raphael Sims Drive, named after a Confederate naval admiral, was renamed to Veterans Drive by the school's administration. Fast forward to today, this trend is being expanded upon at the citywide level by Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom's Commission on Racial Equity and Inclusion, enacted last June with a hand-picked 24-member panel from over 200 applicants. However, the committee has faced harsh criticism recently from Baton Rouge NAACP chapter leader Eugene Collins, who called their efforts toward Confederate street names a softball approach. So what exactly is the cause for delay, and how does member John Lewis recommend they move forward from here? Easily the process can be done in New Orleans, but how it can't easily be done here because it has to be done via, because there was an ordinance that was passed during the Jim Crow early about about the early 1900s because people had complaints about some of the names of the different streets. So I think that we're going in the right direction by giving this media press, but I think that we need to be talking to our Metro Council members about this ordinance and if we can actually, and if we can, and if they have support for adjusting this ordinance so that we can have something that's more in line with even the rest of the cities in this state. People clearly care about this and are concerned about it. And I think that we need to be talking to the people who have the power to do something. The most notable road in question is, of course, Lee Drive, named after head Confederate General Robert E. Lee. A primary focus of the campaign is the Shenandoah neighborhood, one of the most expansive neighborhoods in East Baton Rouge Parish. All of its streets are named after important figures and battles from the Civil War. LSU senior Seth Gamble, a longtime resident of the neighborhood, says now is a better time than any to change the controversial names of the streets. I always loved the Shenandoah neighborhood. Grew up there and lived there my whole life. I know it like the back of my hand. And I hear they're changing some of the street names, and it's going to take some getting used to, but it's probably time that some of the names got changed because of their historical backgrounds. Reporting for Tiger TV Newsbeat, I'm Keith Fell.